Hey, welcome to another quick tutorial. My name is Evan Beats, and today I'm gonna to show you how to control and record your hardware synthesizer. So I'm gonna show you how to set up the MIDI keyboard, how to record your hardware instrument in Evo Studio, and how to add a MIDI to Evo Studio and make sure the hardware synthesizer plays it. Today I'm using the Arturia Mini Brew 2 which is an amazing hardware synthesizer, and I'm gonna connect this to Apple Studio. So step one, setting up the MIDI settings. So in Apple Studio, go to options and then select MIDI settings. So I've connected a lot of devices, but you want to make sure you assign the right ports to the specific hardware synth. So first you have to make sure, of course, the power is on. Then you have to connect a sound cable from the output, so the master output of the synth, to the input of your audio interface. So most audio interfaces have two to four inputs, so make sure you select one. And for example, maybe look at the manual to see which input it is. This makes it way easier. And then you have to make sure the hardware synth is connected to your computer using a USB cable. So you don't need a MIDI cable anymore, luckily not just a USB cable, that's it. So as you can see on the output box right here, the Arturia Mini Brew 2 MIDI out is visible. So this is important. So first you want to make sure it's enabled. As you can see this green power button and then you select it. And this is very important. You select the right port. So the output port. So we don't need to link any inputs because we don't need this. We just want to link the output. So as you can see, this number two is assigned so I could easily switch it. So we want to, for example, assign port two. So you have to remember this, very important. And then on input, you just want to make sure it's also enabled. And that's basically it when it comes to adjusting the MIDI settings. So as you, for example, play a note on the keyboard right here, on the top left corner, you can see it's already recognized by Apple Studio. So the next step is recording audio from the hardware synthesizer in Apple Studio. So first you start by open up the mixer. So select view mixer, and then we could, for example, select insert one. And this is our hardware synth. So let's name it this way. And right now we want to select the right input. So right now you select insert hardware synth. So make sure you select it. And then on the top corner right here, we want to select an input. But first you want to make sure the settings are right. So you want to make sure you open up audio settings. And right now I've had to make some changes to record the audio and the vocal separately. But in your case, make sure you select your audio interface to avoid any problems when it comes to routing signals. So make sure you select the audio interface. So in my case, it would be the Scarlett 4 i 4 USB. So now let's get back to the mixer. So you open up right here, inputs. So right now we want to select the incoming audio. So I have connected this hardware synth to input four. So as you can hear, audio is coming through, simple baseline. So right now it's very easy to record this audio in Apple Studio. So you basically select this one. And in this case, we want to record it in the arrangement. So we select record, we select audio into the playlist as audio clip. So this way it's very easy to record sound into the playlist. So for the next step of this tutorial, for example, you've created an amazing patch on the hardware synth. And you, for example, just want Apple Studio to play basically this hardware synth. So without playing the keys yourself. This is something I often like to apply when I'm producing music. So first open up the channel rack and then we select replace, for example, the sampler or insert, doesn't matter. And then we select MIDI out. So this weird plugin pops up. And by using this plugin, we could basically send the MIDI information to the hardware synth and then it's routing through the audio cable into the input. So right now, for example, our MIDI channel is one. So if you're, for example, using multiple synths, make sure to switch up this one. So synth one, synth two is basically channel one and two, very straightforward. We can leave this blank, but it's all about adding the port number. So as you remember, we've added port number two to the synth or MIDI input. So within this MIDI out plugin, we select port two, and then we open up the piano roll. And as you can see right now, I'm playing the sound from the hardware synth. So we could very easily create this progression. So I've adjusted the patch because it sounded terrible. So let's have a listen. Simple saw. And as you can see, the audio is coming through. So 
So this way is basically just a virtual synth which you can use. But if you want to, for example, use multiple patches, you can do that. You first have to record this loop, then put it in the arrangement, and then again create a second patch and record it over again. And if you don't want to set up this every time over and over again, you can simply save this MIDI out preset. So select this one, select save preset as, and then you could simply, for example, save this as mini brew two, as I did right here. So when I want to record the mini brew two, I simply open up the preset and that's it. And for some other instruments, you could also, for example, link some knobs or something like that. I'm not gonna do that in this tutorial. I'm just gonna keep it very straightforward. And that's it for this video. I hope this was very helpful. I hope I answered your questions. If you have any more questions, make sure to drop them in the comments and I will answer them. And we could also help out other people. So I would highly appreciate it. So with all this being said, I hope you have a great day, create some awesome music and see you in one of my next tutorials.